In this video, we're going to be looking at topology optimization within ANSYS Discovery. So topology optimization is a method that optimizes the material layout given a particular design space uh, based on the loads and the, um, the boundary conditions. So this is my um, design space, a very simple model. Um, it's just a simple bracket, um, but it'll explain how topology optimization works in Discovery and what you can do with it. So there's numerous reasons why you might use topology optimization. One of the main ones is to try and reduce the, the weight of a part. You could be looking at alternative manufacturing methods. Um, there could be a number of reasons. So first of all, we need to set up a, uh, a stress a structural simulation. And I'm going to select on these two holes and add my fixed support. I can do the same on the opposite side. I'm also going to add a fixed support to this area here. And then I'm going to add two um, loads to these two holes here. I'm going to add a mass load of 100 kilograms. And I'm going to add the same here. That's all I need to do to start creating my topology optimization study. Just to um, have a look on the left hand side, first of all, this is our physics tree. So the material I'm using is structural steel. Um, I've got my fixed supports and I didn't add that one. So let's just make sure I add that one. So I've got my um, fixed supports and I've got my mass, um, mass loads. So at the moment, there's a little warning um, message next to the mass loads. That's because gravity is turned off and we can turn it on here. And we can see that at the moment, gravity is in the minus Z direction, which is um, for this load case, that's perfect. Um, I just want to show you that you can create multiple load cases. So I'm going to call this one um, Z gravity. And I'm going to just click on this button here and duplicate the simulation. All I'm going to do in this one is call it X gravity. And change this to uh, the X. Just make sure that's going in the right direction. So it's going there. That's the direction I want. So now I've got two simulations, two load cases, um, but you can add multiple. I'm going to go back to my first simulation. And I'm actually going to start to solve this. So I'm just going to just do a simple stress analysis on this part. And I can look at stress. I can look at this in MPA. And I can also see different values such as the factor of safety. So if this was potentially, let's say this is going to be an aerospace part, the factor of safety is seven. It's actually a lot higher than it probably needs to be. The factor of safety can be between, obviously depending on where it's located, can be between between 1.5 and 2.5. So um, potentially we could try and save some weight on this part. Um, let's just find out what the actual mass of this part is. Um, let's add a monitor and let's say mass. Make sure I select my part. So we can see the parts around 15 kilograms. So we can see what sort of reduction we can make um, with the topology optimization study. So first of all, we need to turn this on. We need to click on topology optimization. And this is where we can set up our targets. So first of all, volume reduction. I might go 50% volume reduction. Uh, you can reduce by a um, sorry percentage reduction. You can reduce by volume if you want to hit a particular volume. Um, you can also add manufacturing constraints, uh, things like pull direction. If it's a molded part or a cast part, you might have a certain pull direction. If it's a machine part, you might want to set your table direction to reduce undercuts. If it's um, a 3D printed part, you might want to set overhang prevention. And this will just sort of reduce the amount of support material your part may need. As I mentioned before, you can include multiple load cases in your topology optimization study. And it's just a matter of here, including the simulations here. Um, if you ever hit F1 in Discovery, you'll bring up your interactive tool guide, uh, interactive help guide. And this will just give you a lot more information on what you're looking for. So here we can see that the different um, targets, in this instance, I'm going to be maximizing the stiffness, but you can see here, what the other ones will do. And if you want to hover over anything, for example, here, you can find out a lot more of what those tools do. I'm going to um, just to run my topology optimization without any of these um, um, constraints on them. 
So one thing I do want to do though is add a particular face. I want to protect a region. So here we can see that the constraints and loads are all protected. If I double click this, I can add regions to be protected. So I don't want material being removed from any of this area here. I know the thickness of this, so uh, I think it's not point, it's 12 mil. So I can also protect that region. So you can specify regions that you actually do want to protect. That's the um, study setup. And we can hit the solve button. And we should start to see material be removed from the design space. So I'll let this run for a few seconds and then I'll pause it, um, save uh, the, the, the video. But you can start to see material being removed. We will probably see material being added here and the, the, the design, the optimized shape change. One thing obviously to know is obviously the protected areas. You can see these faces that I did protect. No material will be removed from those areas. So I'm just going to pause the video while this optimizes. So I've let the optimization run. Um, now I'm going to add the optimized body to the model. So I'm going to click on uh, this button here down in the right hand corner. And what this will do is it'll actually add uh, an STL of the optimized shape to my um, uh, structure tree at the top here. What's nice about this is we can obviously then go on and create a validation study. So I can right click on this facets, which is the optimized body, and we can do a number of things here. One is what we probably want to do is just make sure this is actually going to be okay for the intended purpose. We can also smooth the facets and we can also convert this, the um, facets to solid. So if you wanted to smooth it and 3D print it, you could do that. Obviously you could take this just as a guide into your own design system or discovery and, um, reverse engineer over it um, to give you a, a shape that you desire more based on the, um, the the guides that this has given you. But what we're going to look at is a validation simulation. So what this will do is add the um, add a new simulation here so we can see here and um, just just using this STL now as the um, the simulated part. So we can just literally hit the solve button. And hopefully soon we'll end up with some values such as, let's have a look at our stress. So we can still see the stress is high in these areas here. So in the other areas it's not. So that is something you potentially might work on. You might go, okay, well, let's add a, add a radius to this area and see what um, help that does. But we can see it is actually hitting the factor of safety um, for an aerospace part between 1.5 and 2.5. And we have reduced the, the mass by over 50%. Um, so this is obviously uh, was our target and we've actually reduced the mass and um, we can then either 3D print this or use this as a guide in our own CAD system. So this is just a short video on topology optimization within ANSYS Discovery.